Hello and welcome to Maria MBA Today. My name is Carolina Lima and today we're diving into the story of Google Fiber in Provo. There's been a lot of buzz on the street about what fiber will do for this BYU college town. So we spoke with Google, the mayor, and some BYU students to find out what the fuzz is all about. If you've seen multicolored rabbits hopping all around town, it's not the Easter Bunny bringing eggs. It's Google's installation team bringing super speed internet to your neighborhood. Ever since Google announced last year that they would be bringing fiber to Provo, the company has made leaps and bounds to get things rolling. Google Fiber's head of operations for Provo, John Richard, says this is new territory for Google. I've personally been out on a number of installations just to observe, and it's kind of an interesting business for Google, right? Google is used to putting up servers and serving up uh, searches and, and advertising, and now with this business, uh, we're marching through people's living rooms with booties on while there's kids running around. Gigabit Internet is brand new to most of Provo, but fiber optics aren't. In fact, the city invested in a fiber network more than 10 years ago. In 2003, Provo finished its own fiber network that the city built and the city completed that project. It took out a bond of around $40 million to do that. And over the years, uh, it tried to run the operations and sell internet connectivity, television, and other services. They called the network iProvo, but their efforts to create a more connected city essentially failed. When Mayor John Curtis stepped into office in 2010, he realized that Provo needed to rewire its fiber optic strategy. Well, we had looked long and hard for somebody to take over the network and at the same time considered whether or not we should just run it ourselves. And I had some concerns with that. I didn't think it was our, our core strength. Around that time, Google Fiber announced plans to bring high-speed internet to Kansas City and Mayor Curtis decided to give Google a shot. And he went to Google Fiber and said, would you be interested in our fiber network? And after the negotiations, the city of Provo sold its network to Google Fiber. Well, as soon as we heard what they were willing to do, we immediately knew that this was good for Provo. So why would Google come here to Provo? They say it wasn't just the existing fiber network that they found appealing. It was also the atmosphere and the people. The leadership of the city has always had vision. It built a network 10 years ago, ahead of many, many cities in the United States. And it just found the business climate, the entrepreneurial climate, and the people here an attractive target of market. Right in the middle of that scene lies Brigham Young University, a place that draws students and businesses to Utah Valley, transforming Provo into an entrepreneurial college town. You know, when Google Fire decided to come to Provo, initially I think people might have kind of raised their eyebrows a little bit, but I don't know if as many people realize that Provo tends to be actually kind of a tech hub um, here and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of startups and we get a lot of notoriety for the types of companies that we have here. Some BYU students have already had the chance to try out Google Fiber and are seeing the benefits of high-speed internet. As I've uh, been in school, like it, it has been very useful, like um, just for the convenience of being able to meet with groups, particularly later at night when we uh, tend to spread out um, across Utah Valley and Salt Lake Valley, and so it's been very, very convenient that way. Many agree that bringing the latest technology to the hands and minds of BYU students unlocks a fountain of future possibilities. College students uh, impact this in a dramatic way, and I think um, one of the things I enjoy is watching uh, the entrepreneurial spirit that it comes with that demographic and the, the ability to dream and have unlimited bandwidth and what would I do with that. Richards, who taught entrepreneurship at BYU's Marriott School, says he likes a combination of speed and students. And what will they do with it? Will they create new companies? Will they think of new applications? Things you can do with the internet that we haven't done before. There's so much more to go on the internet and what it can do, especially at these high speeds. Gigabit speeds aren't here on the BYU campus quite yet, but Google says when that conversation comes up, anything could happen. Just a portion of the community is already feeling out the fiber experience. And now that Google Fiber and Provo are wired into a relationship, it's harder to say who is happier. It's a quid pro quo. Uh, the city had this asset that it was not able to monetize. And so Google Fibers come in, upgraded it, and is going to turn it into a, a for-profit regular business that hopefully will thrive and it will be a win-win for everybody, the citizens of Provo. It does two things that are just fantastic. For those who love speed and know what to do with it, it gives them gig speed at a reasonable price. And for those who don't have internet or are having a hard time paying for internet, it gives everybody free access to internet. 
I mean, how could you ask for more than, than those two things? In a world turned digital, 80% of K through 12 assignments that are given in our schools now require the internet to complete those assignments. 80% of the Fortune 500 companies require only digital resumes and job applications. You can't do the old paper style. It seems almost necessary to have internet in your home. Offering an entire city easy access to internet can unite a community in a unique way. Having fiber in a community could move us ahead of so many other communities in economic development, in education, and in all of these areas. And you can't beat the price of free. Google Fiber kind of has affected my life in that I've been able to save a little bit more money. Um, and, and as a student, obviously, every dollar that you can keep in your pocket is, is a, uh, a well-earned dollar. The entire impact of Google Fiber on Provo has yet to be seen. And though not everyone will be using gigabit internet in their home by this Easter, those little rabbits are sure to bounce by with excellent internet speeds by the end of 2014 to make sure you get your daily dose of fiber. In Provo, Jenilyn Theriot, MBA Today. Thanks, Jen. Well, it looks like fiber is making Provo just a little bit more googly and a lot more connected. We hope you enjoyed our story. Thanks for watching and join us next time on MBA Today.